remember being a kid and my parents' TV went and uh, and threw a wobbler. And it was like, mm-hmm. what are we going to do? Going to miss he man. Well, <laughs> That's what the men were saying, but such and such is on. Does anybody fancy a trip into Durham? Yeah, yeah I could do. <laughs> In that case, it might be just me and thee then, Zoe. Yeah. You ever been on that boat? Yeah. I haven't. I have. <laughs> the um, LGBT Association had a, a thing on it. I lived here for two decades, never went on the boat. I didn't realise there was a top deck. We just got... Actually, no, yeah, we did go on the top deck. They're rebuilding part of the cathedral again. It's a constant thing. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you build a large building out of sandstone in an area that rains a lot. That's interesting. So who's that, Jan? John Mead Faulkner, the guy who wrote Moonfleet, which is actually one of my favourite classic literature books of all time. It's about smugglers. I didn't realise this used to be his house. <laughs> well, this is just lovely to be out and about with uh, Councillor Snuggles here, aka my wife Zoe. And um, we're walking up past uh, Shinkler Village in Durham. We've been to the Miners Gala, had a good look around. And yeah, it's been quite good fun. Um, I, I, I didn't really know what to expect. It's like a giant village fit. It is actually, yeah, because there are no mines left around here. So uh, even though it's nominally a uh, gathering of mine workers, I don't think anybody who's there is an actual mine worker. Unfortunately, uh, it's one of those industries that's not really left in the UK yeah, anymore. Yeah, pretty much all that's left are the bands, the brass bands from the mines. Oh, yeah. And they are amazing. The, the people that are still playing those are talented, immensely talented. And I, I love to hear it. But that is pretty much all that's left of this area's main uh, industry for, for centuries. Yeah, but it is a beautiful place, actually. A lot of the track ended up in Scotland. It was actually recycled on, I think it was the Bathgate to Airtree line, or it might be the other one. There was, they reinstated a couple of railway lines over. The, the track from here, it might even have been the Borders Railway, but certainly it was recycled. But once you take the track up, everything degrades quite quickly and it becomes less and less likely that the railway will reopen. I mean this used to be part of the East Coast Main Line. Used to have um, Deltics thundering through here and it was the Durham avoiding line. So to get to Newcastle, especially when they electrified the East Coast Main Line, was pretty much the, the last hurrah of this line because it was used as a diversion route so they could close the route through Durham but given the way that Durham Viaduct is taking a pounding from things like coal trains it would make sense for this to be used as the freight avoiding line. Any train that doesn't stop at Durham and Chesterle Street from Newcastle it would make sense to send it on this route but it was mothballed in the early 90s and the track's been removed about two maybe three years ago now it's just slowly reverting back to nature and it's a shame it shouldn't we shouldn't be letting resources like this just go to waste it could be so useful but for whatever reason it's just leaving it to um, slowly revert to nature <laughs> these days since we bought paint and dirt. Oh yeah and the fact that we own a shed yeah. Ooh, and a very hot car. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful out in Bolton? On a, on a really good day it scrubs up well. So enjoy the scenery, I certainly am. Oh, I'm tired, I've just walked down. But no, I'm super fighting fit, honest. Think thin, think thin, think thin. 
Zoe claims that she tried to get me to play this game quite a few times, uh, but I have no memory of that, so without any kind of evidence, I doubt it very much. But we saw this at the first ever King Kong in Durham, and um, it's a brilliant game, and I'm usually reasonably good at it because my playing technique is very adaptable, I roll with the punches, I don't fixate on one potential way of doing things and then getting upset when it gets blocked. I kind of very <laughs> That's adaptive. A dig. That's a dig and, me, yeah. um, it's really good actually and usually I play against just Zoe because there's just two of us. But it's quite nice to sit here with uh, James in the mix um, because it is a different dynamic when you've got more than two people uh, and I like that. So railway themed so I can't really recommend it more highly. Ticket to ride.